Welcome everyone to Sharing Soulful Stories. Today I am here with Lou Manis. Let me tell you about Lou. She was born and raised in Bali and is a trained Jero or Balinese priestess who has responsibility in her local community to lead ceremonies. On becoming a Jero, she found her sensitivity to energy heightened, so turned to yoga and meditation to balance it. She has since gained her 200-hour yoga teacher training from Shakti Mi at Prana Yoga College, and she now practices and teaches Hatha and Prana Yoga and meditation full-time. Welcome, Lou. I'm so excited to have you with us today. So mm -hmm. as you know, this is a conversation about spirituality and I would love to ask you, what does spirituality mean for you? Oh, for me, like spirituality means when I able to see myself as a soul, so which is mean that soul have a life purpose coming down to the earth to share the wisdom to help others so all being from the greatness without expectation or any kind of personal mission is just about how to give my best value to all human being and to all of the planets with my thoughts my speak and my action since I understand that I'm the soul itself, so I'm turning my life in action, speak, and thought to serve. To serve from the bottom of my heart, from the fureness as a human being. All right. Mm. Yes, I just had my eyes closed and was just loving everything you just said. That is so beautiful. I really, really, oh, I just can only dream of what the world would be like if everybody lived, lived the way that you just described. That would be beautiful. Um, my next question for you is, has spirituality always been a part of your life? So... It's I born different with others. So since I'm eight or four, I able to see spirit or I see different dimension. So absence that when I'm as a child, because we born in the small village, I'm able to see the spirit in the stone or trees or the mountain. Hard to explain for me to my friends or neighbors or even my father. Because it's come any time that I close my eyes at the night, they bring me out to the space and taught me something different than I learned at the school. Mm -hmm. Since then, I'm always dream to live without harm, without harming any kind of creatures, including the trees or plants or earths or mountain, because I'm see all I want but hard to live as a human being because they have expectation, they have so much programs in the head. And then I'm trying to live like others, a normal, a normal person until I'm able to travel outside of body, which is having so much time to really sit with myself. I will sleep in Norway and I see there a lot of nature and then this nature talks to me and then I make a lot of poetry and sit and meditate and then I return to Bali, bring that knowledge to tell people there are life after life, there are spirit in every single thing. Then my training as a Jiro also allow me to step in deeper in myself and now I'm share all of that wisdom with meditation or retreats or leading ceremony. Then I feel so blessed because these days so many people come to Bali to mm -hmm. learn, to practice, to be able to listen to stories about it. Mm. Wow, that's beautiful. I would 
I, I feel that that would be an amazing gift to have, um, to see and learn from the spirit of, of nature and spirits of trees and things. Imagine having that around you and guiding you and, as you say, um, teaching you, teaching you things. That's, that's beautiful and amazing and just feels quite magical, actually. And I wonder now, can you share your story? How you went from a child who had these abilities to become the priestess you are today and leading retreats and things like that. And anything that stands out as being high, like a, a really amazing part of that and any that have been difficult times in that. Yeah, is there are some difficult situation in my life, mm. especially when I return back to Bali, because one side of me really I can think free. For example, like I want see that freedom is leave my country or traveling or keep traveling, but my heart is always calling me to return home to mm. Bali land. But also when I'm see in Bali land, now people are forgetting the concept of Trihichakarana, which is a lot of people keep building and rabies and chemical in the land that is make me cry mm -hmm. because, you know, there are so many ways how to help the planet and which is mean in Bali, you know, a place that like a physics of paradise, now slowly the paradise is disappearing. Mm -hmm. I cry a lot, especially a few years ago. Why? I have question, I go to the ceremony, ceremony keep going, but people forgot the essence of the ceremony itself. People come there more like, you know, um, from the human aspect, not from the spiritual aspect. Mm. And then I'm stop blaming and then I'm talk with the rivers, with the waters, with the nature. And somehow now these days I met many interesting people and I'm keep going. I don't need to explain to every single person, but I keep loving and love what I do, love what I can love around me or bless or pray, which is feel more peace for me if I just sit and pray and conscious with what I do and with who I can share my story. Oh, I feel that too. I know that feeling at, at times in my life can be really overwhelming and very upsetting if I allow myself to think too much about that. Oh, so I feel that. Yeah. And, and what about um, some of the more positive experiences that you've had, the, the good things that have happened? So the good thing is happening a few years ago because when I meditate, I keep hearing a voice sometimes a voice of male or sometimes a voice of woman. And then they always say, keep going and just keep sharing, keep follow your heart. I don't understand in that time, who is speaking? Who is this voice? And then I'm sit, meditate and I'm say, universe, if there are, have another life in my life, please show me the way so I can meet a right person who able can guide me. And then one time in the restaurant, I met my yoga teacher, which is in that time I don't have money to pay for the yoga teacher training, but they say, I can help you. I can make your dream come true. And then I felt in that time, a universe listened to me and someone donated yoga, map, a book, and someone helping me to write a blogs or making websites, which is I do not start with money, which is I'm just start with prayer. Then mm -hmm. since then, I know this job is not my personal job, but this is universe job just come through me with that inspiration. And my job is just to bettering myself and my heart as a human being 
and live in balance as the human, as the soul, as the spirit itself. Mm. Oh, I love that. I just, those moments where you feel like your prayers have been answered and what you are feeling called towards just unfolds in front of you is um, just, yeah, there is high moments in that too. I'm so happy for you that that is um, what eventuated in your life. How wonderful for you. And I wonder now, can you share with us, um, how do you weave spirituality through your life and through your work? And for me, there are life is spirituality. Yeah. It's a spirituality, it's the life itself because we cannot divide spirituality with life. Of course that I have personal life, but I know that my personal life is I come back to the earth to have a mission, to share the message of the nature, to share the lights to others, to share the love and compassion, especially in these days, a lot of people have lack of love mm -hmm. because they think love is when the people uh, fries you, when the people smile to you, but actually love could be when you can do something better for others, like a mother loving their child, not always get a smile. Sometimes maybe you feel angry, sometimes you feel discomfort, but you need to move to all of that situation to see the wisdom. When you can move beyond good or bad, you live your life with a wise way and you live like a mother with no expectation. You raise your kid, you raise others as smart as you can. It's a job 24 hours. It's not just a job when you teach in the class but live spirituality, which is 24 hours of practice, include the way that you sleep, what you eat, what you think, with who you share your stories, with who you share your energy, and all of the connection between human, between human to the God, between your dream, and while you wake as well. Mm. That's beautiful. I love that. And I felt, um, I, I, I think I knew you would say that having heard your beautiful description of what spirituality means to you at the beginning of our conversation. So thank you so much for sharing that. And the last question that I have for you is how, what advice would you have for somebody wanting to connect with their spirituality. Um, yeah, that's the question. What, would, what yeah. advice would you have? Mm. So I think a lot of people thinking, oh, I'm going to be spiritual if I have that job or go to that place or have that life. Actually, spirituality is not far from you. Spirituality is within you inside of your heart. You will awake, you will understand about who you are if you just give a moment, a willing to sit still and listening to all of that noise in your head and not run away from any situation. So do not run away if you feel sad in this time or you feel upset with someone, just witness those feelings. And always able to see your own heart and you can do it with prayer or chanting, cooking, writing, gardening, whatever that make your heart happy, follow that. Do it consciously, less harm, including your own self. Because often that we harm our own self, become victim from the situation. So now look into the area that you feel you need love. May you need love in your job or you need love in your physically or may you need love in your soul. Just look which area that you can be better with area that you can do better for your life and then share that to all world. 
Mm. I could listen to you speak all day, I think. I love, I love everything that you've shared. I'm so glad that we were able to connect and include your story here on this amazing platform. Um, thank you. Thank you for all of that. That's incredible advice. And I send my own prayer out that it reaches all of those people that that is just what they need to hear right now. Um, yeah, I'm so happy because people, you know, thinking spirituality is far from them and then you think to be spiritual, which is mean you need to go to the temple or place to find teacher. Actually, spirituality is born with you. Spirituality is born with you. It's within you. It's not far from you and always there with you. Oh, what a perfect beautiful way to complete our conversation can you now please share with us um a little more about what it is you do in bali and how people can find you if they're interested i will put the links like the web your website and instagram and facebook i can put out when we put this yeah. video out but if you could just let us know a bit more that would be amazing yeah, actually I am teach uh, yoga now only two times a week in the intuitive flow and meditation. I try to step less into the teaching in the studio, but I do more like um, one day tour because on the day tour I have a time to talk with others. Mm. And usually people are single travelers, they can gathering with others. And also in this tour, I have able to share my story, mm. the beauty of cultures and nature in Bali. And also a time for me to live like a sisters and family. So all of that website is just about flat flow that people can see my job. But I feel, you know, people come to me when they are ready. I do not try to promote so much from what I'm doing because kind of when the soul know they need someone or guidance or someone to share with, they reach me out. And it come by the law of the nature. It come naturally. Mm -hmm. So this kind of thing is more organic and it's helped me and others to understand we are made because of the love, the karma, we see each other to share our beauty more than just a transaction because money is good but sometimes it's too dangerous, same as popularity. Mm. If you know how to use your power in the right way that can help yourself and others because all of these things is not making us higher if we do not use it in a great way. If you use that knowledge for better for all of universe law of spirit that is suddenly and then you rising higher and then can lift up others. Mm -hmm. So for me, I do this job because of my sole mission to help others. It's not just making money or making myself popular because I would like to have biggest family and big family, no matter where they are coming from. So wherever they are, come to Bali so they feel home, they feel like have family in Bali. Mm. Oh, that's, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much for being here, Lou. I really, really appreciate, um, and I just watched the most gorgeous blue butterfly fly over a tree outside. Um, I just appreciate you being here so much and sharing your story with us today. Thank you. And thank you to call me. I've been waiting to share my story, but I didn't know how. And then in that night, you know, I'm just praying, universe, I want to share my story. Please helping me, guiding me to the real persons, you know, 
because this might be useful for someone out there. Oh, just a, what a magical way for us to end. And I'm sure it will be very useful for a lot of yeah. people to hear that. So thank you, thank you so much again. Thank you, and keep do your job. You know, if this is your sole mission, of course, that not easy every day, but keep doing it, and universe will find a way how to help you. The universe thank has you. been helping. The universe has been helping this one along a lot, including finding yeah. you. And here you are. You were seeking me, yeah. and I was seeking you. We just needed some help to connect. So that's so perfect. Thank you yeah. again, and thank, thank you everyone you. for listening. Thank you. Okay, thank thanks you so much. Bye, Bye now, Lou.